Hello, hello, and welcome back to another segment here of the Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake Speedrun. I'm not going to explain anymore for which version of the game that is, because you already know, since you're watching that much into the gameplay and playlist. So, next up, we have to find Gustava and Dr. Mana. That's a fairly long segment where a lot of story happens, and I will definitely use the fast-forward version. Sadly, that is not allowed in the speedrun, but in the sense of making a tutorial, I will make an exception. So, we just found the pigeon. Last time I told you to menu from the um, PE down one to the mines because the next boss fight will be the four horsemen where we need the mines, but it will be like 20 minutes off. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. And we need to be back again on the level four card. From here on out, basically go back to the elevator and we're gonna go back again to the first building just as we did after Holly when we grabbed the grenades. Very easy to do, so literally just follow me there's not much to explain here. Just make sure, once again, you crawl into the elevator. There you go, go down, and as I said, I will now fast forward because like, I don't have that much time to waste. There we go. So, we are in the center elevator. We have to go back to the previous one, which is like the, the second. If you think of the most outside one, the, the first one. So basically just retrace your steps. Go. Once again. Crawl into the elevator. And once again, go down by one floor. And once again, we're going to swim over to the first building via the underground. Now, we don't want to swim here because there are mines. And it's way easier for us to actually walk. But as soon as we're here, go to the dark part of the water, hold down, as soon as the end, hold right, as soon as in the next screen, hold up, and then you're good to go. Don't worry about the health loss, you have so much health, and really there's not much that can kill you here. So just follow along. Back in the elevator, this time we don't need to change cards because we're going straight up to the fourth floor. Now we need to take this first elevator up to 2F. Because this one doesn't stop at the first floor, that's fine. Just punch until we're at the top. Now exit and take the right elevator. And go up to the fourth floor. Now, 4F. That one is a tough one. Okay. As soon as we leave the elevator, we are on a very strict timer. This is the part where so many things can go wrong. I will show you ideally first how an ideal version looks like where we don't have an alert, okay? But it will also show you how you can just make it past it if you have an alert. It's any percent. The fastest way is of course, without an alert, but you know, we see how we get there first. We exit and immediately go left. I forgot that there's a load screen. So just hold left here, enter that door. And as soon as we enter, we want to turn down and punch. Right? We enter the door, hold down, and immediately punch. That's what we want to do. Because we want to get rid of that guard. Just punch him, ignore him, and then we would ideally walk on here, not get trapped by the lasers, and wouldn't be an alert. Now, since we are an alert, <laughs> I'm going to quickly reset here and do this once more. Right? Because you can still continue on if you are on an alert. The problem is, as I explained another time, Every time when you have a re-alert happen, you will freeze for a few seconds and you will be interrupted and you basically just lose a bunch of time every time when you get caught in a new screen. So ideally, you will have this happen. Hopefully this works first try now. Go here. There we go. See, I held down, I punched, and then I kept on walking. I avoided these lasers and I have to walk immediately up. I have to wait for this camera to walk up, and during that time, menu, up three times to go to the level one card. Wait for the camera to be halfway up, and then wait here. We need to wait for the next guard at the left to be roughly where I am here. Right, when the guard is here, that's when we can transition screen. If he's here, he would see us coming over to the next screen, that's bad. So we have to wait just a little bit, like two, three seconds. Go all the way down, and enter this door. This is where we also 
go back again to the level 4 card. I like to do this while I'm walking down anyway. Now, in this dark room, we need to find the... Uh, basically, the vent, so we can go to the other side. It's basically just halfway over here. If you don't know where it is, that's fine. You can technically also just crawl. And Snake will find his own way. During this crawl, I usually switch to the level 3 card, L1 up 1, and then walk up here. To our right now, there's a gap open. If you walk up, uh, if I walk to the right, I would immediately die. And the goal is just go left until we're basically uh, at the center of our health bar. Because that's where the door is. And there we go. Hey, lots of puppets. Don't worry, these guys are not actual guards. Now, thankfully, we are playing 80%, so it doesn't matter where the guard will be on the next screen. Sadly, he was here. He could be immediately at the door. He could be at the center line, or he could be at the right and see us. So, again, it's 80%. It doesn't matter if you have alerts or not, but of course, it will be a slowdown. Ideally, we could just walk forward, punch, and then just get past this guard without an alert, but it really is RNG. So, let's just continue on. I'm gonna go in here. While I'm in this room, go back to the level 4 card. It's constant back and forth between these cards. And I want to enter the next screen basically on this line. Okay, you can see where Snake's standing. Yeah, it's like here. I can't see where Snake's standing. <laughs> there we go. So, where I am is basically on the height of the puppet there in the corner. This is where I want to enter the next screen. The good thing is, the alert ends as soon as we go to the next screen. The bad thing is, there are three guards within these puppets which could, you know, potentially immediately get you another alert. Um, if you want to be fast and if you're lucky, you can make it so, as we can see here, this guard is a guard and this guard is a guard and we can just enter this door. Now, we finally made it in the room where Gustavo will be, right? If you ever happen to mess up, just remember, you can go here, get out the level 1 card and reset by going into the freezer. And we haven't messed up yet, but well, we probably will now because there will be God. There we go. Yep, there's a God that's us. Awesome. We can just go in here into the freezer, come back out, and it actually will have reset the room. But the problem is, as we can see here, this isn't Gustavo anymore that's here. Gustavo will take a long time to actually come back. As we can see now, she will come actually here from the top. And there we go, this is Gustavo, right? It takes super long for her to actually go to the women's bathroom here. So if it happens that a guard sees you on your way to this bottom right screen, uh, you could go to the freezer to reset it, or, I mean, in this case, it might be actually worth it to take the continue and reset from the checkpoint at the beginning at the elevator and try again. Um, it is tough when it happens, but, you know... Just alone getting to Gustavo is its own segment because it is fairly long. So I'm gonna try one last time to show you in total and that will be this video tutorial. So immediately we go left, we go up, we go here, punch down, hopefully don't get trapped by the lasers. And yeah, didn't make it. <laughs> so sad, it's super tight. Even if you make it past the first guard, uh, the lasers could still be on the cycle where they hit you, so you know, again, the fastest way to get, uh, go through these uh, levels is to have no alert. So, as soon as it loads, you have to actually start walking. I was sadly a little bit delayed, and that's when I messed up. Oops. Level 1 cards. Again, wait for the camera to be halfway up. It's like three tiles. I went slightly too far up. Got another alert. Messed up again. So, yeah. <laughs> as you can see, in this segment, there are so, so many things that can go wrong. That's why it's its own segment, that's why it's own tutorial video. As soon as you found Gustavo, you're good. It's actually very chill after that for a little while, so... That's why the next speedrun video will be a little bit longer, but also will actually have way more progress. This whole floor is really tricky, especially in the beginning, and it will take some time to get used to. There we go. We have to wait for this car to walk a little bit forward so he doesn't see us. Get out the level 1 card at some point before we reach this door. Go over here. Go to the level 4 card. Go over here. Go to the level 3 card. Stand up, keep walking left. And then go down. And then hopefully we are lucky this time. Uh, nope, not lucky. It is what it is. 
Actually, the RNG gets remounted, so yeah. In this case, we are got a different guard position, but that was still fine. And this is how usually this room looks like if you just played normal, right? This is the standard experience. Gustavo will be waiting in front of the men's room. And she'll be like, ah, I got, I got OP. I want to be in the women's bathroom. And as soon as she opens the door, hop after her. And that's how you find Gustavo. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next part where we're going to go on and do the rest until we get to the kite. Oh, there's an elevator here? What do you know? I'll see you next time.